Wright, and I teach uh, IOM 210, which is Business Information Systems, and uh, Project Management and Information, which is a upper division uh, class. So mostly I center on technology management and strategy, so I expose students to ways of thinking about technology and, and how to solve real-world business problems. So we do things like, uh, in, in some of my classes, like how, how will we solve some of the social problems with technologies that are already out there? We look at companies like Kiva and seeing how they're solving problems by lending money using technology and websites and some different things. With OIM, the biggest thing is you got to be excited about solving problems and you got to be excited about using different technologies to solve problems. So it's not, we won't give you exposure to a single piece of software or a single solution. We'll expose you to a bunch of different things and it's you have to figure out the best way using your critical skills on how to optimize something, how to make something better and use any technology to do that. The best thing folks can do is actually um, get in front of different organizations and see what their problems are. And just hear them speak about how they solve problems so then that you can add that to your toolbox about here's my different critical skills, here's how I solve problems in the real world, and this is really how it works. So go to the networking events, join the clubs, go to the tours, and figure out really what the business problems are today. The most valuable skill that a student should know is know how to analyze data. So if you're a marketing person, if you're an accountant, if you're a finance person, the biggest thing now is the ability to analyze data and and give some solutions or some knowledge based on that data. So you're finding patterns in the data, you're figuring out how to use data, so manipulating that. And there's several classes that do that, um, but it's really important depending on any major you have for to really understand that data. I came here because I think Eisenberg is an upward trajectory. Um, you saw from the rankings just released that we are skyrocketing as far as land-grant institutions and just institutions in New England. And then when I talk to the employers, they are super excited to hire our students, to talk to our students, because I think we give a really outstanding product.